Hello, today I thought I would talk about this painting, Emotional Blackmail. Um, it's an incredibly detailed work on MDF panel, which is my favoured surface. And, well, what do we see here? It tells an entire complex surrealistic story. We have a female figure here grasping the leg of this male crucified figure. The, the male figure is part human but also part cross itself, the arms, legs, hands and feet transforming into the very material of wood. The left hand of the female figure points to a distant tree with a noose hanging from it, perhaps a symbol or reminiscence of the hanging of Judas Iscariot, which is something that actually painted in the past. But in this particular painting it probably implies a threat. Look what will happen. I will kill myself unless whatever. That's what this painting's about really. Um, the, the right hand of the female is distorted and wraps around the leg like a tentacle grasping, holding on to something. And the tiny little finger is massively extended and eventually pierces the heart of the male figure, bursting through, trying to appeal perhaps to the emotions. Look, I've tried to trap you physically, now I can try to appeal to you emotionally. And it pierces the heart but it comes out, the, it has no effect. The man stares off into the distance, I'm ignoring you. The trail of the finger ultimately spirals to the sky to leave a single butterfly. Perhaps hope. I think of butterflies as signifying hope partly because in the myth of Pandora's box hope was all that was left and these were described as moth-like in the myth. Perhaps the butterfly also reflects freedom. Perhaps after trying to appeal to all of this the woman is set free. Or perhaps the man is set free. It ends the story with a an element of peace. On the horizon we have a triangular opening, something glorious and happy. It's almost like a doorway in the sky has opened to something distant and pleasant and a new beginning, a new horizon. So it's something that it's a painting that starts as slightly dark and disturbing in the bottom corner and then rises to something more glorious and optimistic as the viewer's eye continues to rise.